welcome to MATLAB programming for numerical computations. We are in week number 7. In this module, we are covering ordinary differential equations, initial value problems. So far, we have looked at uh, Euler's method and Runge Kutta second order method and we have solved a couple of problems using them. We have also looked at ODE 45 algorithm that MATLAB provides in order to solve ODE initial value problems. In this lecture, we are going to go further and use higher order Runge Kutta methods. Before we do that, let us revisit RK2 Yun's method. What we are going to do today is the RK2 Yun's method that we had developed for a specific problem y dash equal to minus 2ty. We are going to modify that to a generic uh, problem that takes my fun t comma y as an argument. So my fun t comma y basically generates this f of t comma y and passes it on to RK2 Yun's method. Let's go ahead and modify the code in order to do that. First we will do this for the mod for the system y dash equal to minus 2ty then we will extend it to the PFR problem. Let's go to MATLAB and do this. Okay. So this is the RK2 Yun's method that we had written in lecture 7.2. Okay. So what we are going to do is instead of this guy being hard coded into this, uh, into the, into this uh, what we are going to replace it with is through using a function myfun. Okay. So let's first create a function myfun. function my fun or sorry dy equal to my fun t comma y and dy equal to minus 2 multiplied by t multiplied by y okay let's save this as my fun okay so k1 should be replaced by my fun Okay, t comma y. Okay, right now k1 is basically going to be ti comma yi. So I'm just gonna replace that ti comma yi. Okay, so k2. So k2 is also nothing but f of t nu comma y nu. F of t nu comma y nu. The function f is obtained through again the same function my fun so we will just do this okay and that should complete our problem now what we also would want to do is we probably do not need this additional t nu comma y nu over here so i will just remove this and directly replace t nu with ti plus h and i will replace y nu with yi plus hk1 okay and this becomes our rk2 yun's method which uses the function my fun let's save this and let's run okay and it shows the overall curve which looks exactly similar to what we had earlier okay so let's also again look at max error max error was 0.0021 similar to what we had gotten earlier in lecture uh, 7.2 okay so what we have done is we have generalized RK2 Yun's method to use function my fun. Now what we are going to do is to extend it to the PFR problem. Okay. So run PFR ODE was the code that we had used earlier uh, in lecture 7.3 in order to run the PFR code. What I'm going to do, do now is 
in addition to solving using ODE45, I will solve using RK2 Yun's method. Okay, so for doing this, what all I'm gonna do, um, or mostly what I'm gonna need is this part and this part. So let's just take this. Copy. And paste this over here. Okay. Prior to solving using Yun's method, we need to initialize. Initialization is we just need to copy this part and paste it over here. Okay. So our T, capital T, is our independent variables. Y is our dependent variable. Y in, in this case, y has to be replaced with concentration C, which are the depend, dependent variables. Okay, so those are the only changes that we need to make. Okay, let what we should do now is just run that particular code. Okay. Let's run this code and we are going to start getting errors right, right from over here. So let's go ahead and do that without worrying too much about errors. Uh, what we will do over here is just change this end volume to v equal to 5. Okay, And let's run this. Okay, We got an error undefined function or variable t0. Keep in mind that our independent variable was v or v0. So that is what needs to be put over here. So this will go from V0 up to Vn. Okay, that's our t in steps of h. So let's also say what h is going to be. So h is going to be 0 0.1. So n has got to be Vn minus V0 <coughs> excuse me, divided by h. That's our n. We have our y equal to zeros n plus 1 comma 1 and y1, y1 is the dependent variable. In this case, the dependent variable is c0. So, I will just replace this okay. and I will say initialization. And solving okay. and what I will do is plot plotting results plot v sol comma c sol as blue line and t comma y as dashed red line. Okay. And the other thing that we need to do is replace this with an appropriate function EFR fun EFR fun. Okay. Let's clear all, close all and run the PFR code. Okay. And as you can see the red line, the red dashed line lies exactly or almost exactly on top of the blue solid line. The red line is our uh, Yun's method solver, whereas the blue line is our ODE45 solver. So as you can see over here, so this is the overall code that we have, okay, using the ODE45 solver. The code was very simple to obtain using RK2 Yun's method. If you recall, this was the main code that we copy pasted from RK2 Hunes over here. This was the main code. And in addition to that, we had to do some initialization. We had to initialize our H. We had to initialize our time, uh, uh, sorry, the independent variable T. We had to initialize our dependent variable Y.
Okay. Once we did that, we were able to solve this using RK2 Jones method. Okay. Okay. So what we have done is we revisited our RK2 Jones method and generalized it to use uh, a general function myfun and the PFR function PFR fun. Next, we are going to extend this to RK4 method. The RK4 method is usually the most popular Runge-Kutta method. The RK3 method uses three weights W1, K1 plus W2, K2 plus W3, K3 whereas RK4 method also uses a fourth weight plus W4, K4. The RK3, RK3 method has a local truncation error of H, uh, uh, H to the power 4 whereas RK4 method has a local truncation error of H to the power 5. The best RK5 method also has an error of h to the power 5. As a result of this, we do not get a big advantage by using RK5 method instead of an RK4 method. Therefore, RK4 method is arguably the most popular RK method out there. Okay? We will solve the first problem y dash equal to minus 2 uh, ty using RK4 method. The RK4 method is given over here yi plus 1 equal to yi plus h by 6 multiplied by k1 plus 2k2 plus 2k3 plus k4 etc etc. Okay, so let's go to MATLAB. Let's open our RK2 Yunes method and save this as RK4 standard. Okay, solve ODEIVP using RK4 using standard RK4 method. The initialization parts remains the same, Initialize, uh, the problem def definition remains the same, initialization remains the same, solving using RK4 method. Four method, okay, K1 equal to this k2 equal to my fun of something, k3 equal to my fun of something, k4 equal to my fun of something and y i plus 1 equal to i i plus h by 6 multiplied by k1. Let's go here and see k1 plus 2 k2 plus 2 k3 plus k4, k1 plus 2 multiplied by k2 plus 2 multiplied by k3 plus k4. Our k2 was function of ti plus h by 2, ti plus h by 2 comma yi plus h k1 by 2, yi plus h multiplied by k1 divided by 2 okay i will just copy this and paste it in k3 and we will do the modification as required k3 is ti plus h by 2 again but yi plus h multiplied by k2 by 2 so instead of k1 by 2 we now have k2 by 2 okay so let's paste and the only thing that needs to change is k1 is to be changed to k2 Okay, same thing we will paste for k4 and let's see what change needs to be done. K1 is k4 sorry is a function of ti plus h and yi plus h k3. So let's paste it ti plus h and not ti plus h by 2 and yi plus h multiplied by k3 and not divided by 2. So we delete change k1 to k3 and remove divided by 2 and this is our yi. Let's save this and let's first clear everything. And let, let's run our RK4 standard method. Okay. And we see the same uh, curve. This curve looks similar to what we had earlier. Let's check on errors or let's check on max error. The max error is 7.5 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 6. As we see, 
when we went to RK4 standard method, there was a significant drop in the error with the error drop from around 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 to 7 into 10 to the power minus 6. Okay. So, for the, for the same step size, RK4 method is significantly more accurate than RK2 method and that is one of the reasons for the popularity of RK4 method. Okay. So, with that, we come to the end of this lecture. What we covered in this lecture were two things. First, we improved our RK2 code so that we are able to use a generic function my fun t comma y instead of hard coding it in inside the code itself. Next, we extended our RK2 units method to RK4 standard method. So with that, I come to the end of lecture 7.4. I will see you in the next lecture. Thanks and bye.